And the victim's attorney, Dan Rotier, is also challenging the state's investigation. Our team coverage continues with reporter David Douglas. He's taking shots at that investigation, Sarah, pointing to evidence he says was never examined by authorities. In a letter to the state fire marshal, Tina Virgil, Rotier says investigators failed to obtain all three wrenches used in the installation. We did review the official state report, and it does only mention two wrenches. As a result, Rotier says a third tool was never examined. The law firm hired Burke Engineering of Port Washington to conduct a review that showed the drip leg was only loosened and never tightened. The wide debris field was the end result of the lawsuit's allegation that the drip leg vibrated loose over several days and leaked gas into the home's basement. These are never before seen photos taken by investigators above the scene showing you into the basement below. Also giving you an inside view of neighboring homes damaged in the blast. Attorney Dan Rotier wants the state to amend its investigation report to state the cause of the blast as an accident instead of inconclusive. He's perplexed why, if his team could find a cause, the state wasn't able to do so. For now, the state fire marshal's office is not commenting. Okay, thank you so much, David.